Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. So when we last left off, Shantae was mistaken for some princess, like a long dead princess of some weird not Egyptian tribe. And uh, we managed to break out of our cell, but we're still inside this temple. Hi. Are you gonna bring me back to my cell? Apparently, okay. Which is okay, because I opened that. So that just... Right? That better stay open. Okay, good. So we're still in the central room here. Uh, there is... There was one room that I passed by earlier that I decided not to go to because it had more of those guards that will carry me away. Where was this? Oh God, this room with, the, with all these colored... color-coded entrances. Okay, I guess I never went this way? Okay. Actually, these guys, or girls, aren't so bad. Huh? What was that? Oh. I guess I opened a secret passage. Which gives me a, a bunch of money. Nice. No complaints here. Okay. Hmm, this is not the place that I was thinking of, though. Maybe I should go find that first before I completely lose track of where that might have been. So I entered this door and that brought me back to the central room and the that uh, save room that I was craving. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember coming down this way. And these weird, <laughs> this weird movements of these guys, girls, whatever. Uh, this is where I first came out. Okay, so that tells me that I probably. Went over this way, yes, and checked out this door, and that must be the one. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, can I not just... Oops, oh, no! Come on. I was still almost in the shadows. Well, that's fine. What are those chains for, though? I guess they, they seem like just an alternate way to bypass those guards by hiding above them. Also, did I ever talk to this person just in case? It's you? No. Okay. Right, this was where uh, Sky was being held. Apparently, they maybe they these guys have a habit of just mistaking any pretty girl, pretty young girl, <laughs> for their princess and basically kidnapping her. So I'm kind of getting that vibe. We'll see if we find any more. Okay. So, oh God, how much? How far was I able to? Go. Definitely up to here. Yeah, okay, that's where they turn around. So that chain seems kind of unnecessary. Hmm. Wait. You're not gonna see me. Oh, wait, I cannot actually jump up here. Can I land behind you? Or will bumping into you in any kind of way? alert you immediately. I mean, I, this is the only option... Okay, this somehow works. Let's not question it. There is somewhere to go to the right, though. Huh. Maybe I'll get a double jump or a, just a higher jump? And that, combined with my gliding hat, which I currently don't have, might actually allow me to travel further horizontal distances as well. Okay. I... Hmm. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. There are still places I haven't explored, but, you know, I'm here now, so that's good. More of this, huh? Kind of tight, but okay. Just one of those guys per screen. Perfectly fine by me. Okay. Hmm. Underneath this. Nope. Hmm. Strange, but we're back in this main room. Key? Okay, good. There was another locked door in the main room. The main lobby. Uh, thanks, I was still frozen in place from collecting that key, by the way. So that's that wasn't very nice. Uh, so I couldn't continue further to the right past the purple door I came out of. I could drop down, but I guess I'm going to stay up for the time being, just in case... I can't get back up. 
Hmm. This is so confusing. Maybe I'm gonna emerge on the other side of the wall. Uh, blind drop? Okay. Hmm. Um. I won't be able to jump back up, so... Oh. Okay. Oh. Good choice, I guess. And... And the, okay, so the other door would have brought me to the other side. Man, that would have been cruel. I'm guessing there is... There can really only be money in there. Which is nice, but wait. Oh, that's tricky. Thanks for the hearts. Oh. Get tricked. Hmm. Okay. What an odd convoluted dungeon. There is the next pretty-ish girl. I mean, I guess, pretty for a zombie. I mean, she is cute, but I don't want to think about certain aspects of, like, what she smells like. For example. <laughs> no, no offense. Um, Rotty Tops, but I left you back on Spiderweb Island. I don't want to miss out on the fun, so I followed you. Look, we both have matching costumes. Yeah, that's cool, but, um... Now we can be princesses together! Rotty, we gotta go get out of here fast. Okay, I'll go. But I'm keeping this outfit. I'm sure. I will too. That's not the point. Okay, well... I guess we needed to do that, but that wasn't exactly progress. Now, who would be behind the... Uh, the other door? Up here? Yes. Uh, who am I forgetting about? Do we have another... Girl? Friend? Or could it actually be risky? No. I mean, maybe. That would be funny. She was on this island anyway. So, okay. Um, I guess... Wait, did I ever check what's down here? Oh, no, I guess I didn't. Oh, you're waiting here. I cannot talk to you. I guess we... Are we all gonna jump up and cling to this huge... rope? To trigger the, uh, the exit... Exit door. Maybe. Anyway. Off to look for the final key. So I ch actually I never went all the way to the right here. Although I probably can't. Yeah, that corner is just separated. Hmm, unless there's a way. Oh, okay. More money? I'll take it. Also, thanks for not making me crawl all the way. That's very considerate. <clears throat> so, I went through the orange door and eventually emerged at the top by the purple one. Is that right? Have I mentioned that this place is extremely confusing? The color coding does not help in the slightest. This is where, where I first emerged. Just making, that, making sure, yeah. So, that doesn't really lead anywhere. I guess I'm going to check out the other side of the room that I backed away from earlier. I mean, that's a pretty likely candidate for being the way forward that I'm looking for. Right, this was just, yeah, just a dead end. There's a door over to the right there that I haven't actually been to. There could be a secret passage, but there wasn't. These guys, what, what do I do about them? Try that again. I mean, I can't fight them while I'm while we're both climbing around. They can hurt me, but I can't hurt them. And avoiding them is definitely easier said than done. I guess I'll, I can really not do much, but just suck up the damage and at least not fall off the chain. Oh, duh, duh, or not grab the chain in the first place. Okay, what is this door? This is where, what I'm looking for. Maybe? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Can I drop through this? No, I cannot. What is that? Is that one of those platforms that will turn once I, when I hit them? Yes, it is. Oh. Okay. Thanks, I suppose, but... Not really what I needed. 
interesting that you can travel back up this way, but not that, that other one that we took earlier. Oh, okay. I guess it's because we will have to travel back. Because this doesn't just loop back to the to the main room. Alright, okay. There's still so many places in that other on the other side though. I guess there are some passages that I haven't taken. Let's see if I can actually reach them though. Uh, maybe maybe I can't. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know about that. Just die. Yeah, I'll take your gem. Hmm. Oh, actually, I, yeah, there were plenty of places to drop down from. Or to drop, drop down to from the purple door. I just didn't do that because I didn't want to redo the section. And it did lead me to a key, so... What was that? Yeah, so this is just an alternate way to hide, I guess? Not really necessary. I'll wait here. The third shadowy alcove. The rest is super easy. Oh, yeah, that was this section, though. That's a bit curious, isn't it? I guess the the thing is that these colorful these these colored circles uh circles. Colored squares actually correspond their positions correspond to the positions in the other room. It's just flipped over uh, horizontally. Um, but does that help me? Not really. I guess it's the section to the right of here is somewhere to the left and down from the purple square in the other room. So that's what I'm looking for, I guess, to get back here. Okay, let's try that next cycle. <laughs> I really don't know how much let you have as far as touching those guys goes, but it feels a bit sketchy. Okay, well, you know what? Yes, I'm gonna save here again. I suppose if I fall down somewhere I don't want to fall, or if I get caught, I could just quit out of the game and reload to the save point. Maybe that's the idea. Although I will still have to deal with this guy. Nope! Okay. Whew. Everything's good. I mean, if I do get caught by this one, for example, I can just... just reload. So I don't have to walk back, walk back all the way. Right, that puts me back here. Yeah, actually, this door might be the one I'm looking for. As far as getting to that other section, that looks about right. Yeah, actually, completely right. However, all that does is get me back here. What's the point? That's the blue door. But there is another section about this that I haven't been to. Is there anything hidden in here? I guess that's just an alternate way out, basically. Hmm. I mean, okay, it doesn't send me all the way back, so I suppose I'll roll with it. At least it's on the map now. I guess it ultimately was just a trap. There might be other places to reach from the purple door. Save that again. Save often, save early. going. Hmm. There are not really that many more places to check out, and I have no idea how to... It would be really helpful if you could actually switch between those different map levels. I mean, I guess I can by just going back and forth through the door. So, to the left of the purple door on this side. Hmm. Yeah, but I have no idea how, how I would reach that. Except by going through this wall doesn't seem to be an option, so... Because that would theoretically get me to the other side of this wall. 
Hmm. The thing is, it's probably, or it's, it might very well become clear. Do you want to jump over? No. Come on. There. Um, once I open the last door, free all the princesses, I guess. Wait. Um, that's not what I want to do. Oh, but thanks for the gems respawning. That's useful. So, below here? Oh, this is just empty. Okay. Right, that's that door. I did eventually emerge on the other side. Or did I? Or, well, no, I reached that. But I didn't emerge there. Not from here. Okay, that down there was just to the blue door, and there wasn't a way to the right, was there? Nope. Oh! It's just one of these. Okay. That's a bunch more gems. That's nice. It fills in that part of the map. But the upper right corner is still a mystery. chamber there. In fact, yeah, I'm kind of out of ideas as far as that goes. Maybe from where the green door is on the other side. Hey dude, wanna catch me? I don't know if that really was a shortcut. But, I mean, yes, yes it was a shortcut here. I guess I'll open this door. I was thinking of uh, returning to the, the other room right away. Uh, it was by the... I was thinking of the other side of the dark green door, I think? Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's do this first and see. Yep, of course. Is that you? You look different. Who else would it be? I came looking for you and instead I found this place. The simpletons mistook me for some silly princess and locked me in here. Same here. I'll pound those imbeciles into fish paste when I get my hands on them. You're wasting time, let's go. Alright. I guess I'll check out what happens when, we, when we're all united down here. Maybe that'll help reaching those uh, mysterious places. There you are. We should be able to operate this contraption if the four of us work together. See, so yeah, that's what I thought. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what I had in mind. We're not heavy enough. Although Blondie here does make for some excellent ballast. Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, seriously. What? <laughs> you probably weigh as much as a, as a lead balloon. Or two. Uh, can we at least try to work together? I won't work with her. But for you, sure. Me? Aren't you the brain eater? What? Not you, her. Ah, the noise. This is why I work alone. All right, you lovers. Pull! Yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean, you cannot willfully make yourself heavier, but okay, sure. It worked, somehow. Of course it did. You give us, you give up too easily. If you want to make something bend to your will, you better be prepared to break it as well. You're a scary lady. Come on, let's all rush in and pummel these imbeciles. No, we should sneak past them quietly. I want to distract them with the fan dance. Oh, I thought you were going to eat their brains. I guess you could do both. Uh, I'll take a look. I guess. At least I'm armed. Uh, that's an interesting statue in the background. Is that the princess? That is the princess, isn't it? Princess, you've arrived at last. Behold, a glittering statue of your vast magnificence. That's supposed to be me? Ah, but yes, it is your exact likeness. But I do... Uh, but, but lo, do my eyes deceive me? Princess, there are four of you! Yeah, I mean, you should know, you captured us all. But... but each of you looks perfectly identical to this humongous... Uh... Titanic... Rotund... Corpulent... Uh... And bulgingly beautiful... Pleasingly plump statue! That's it! Ring his throat! <laughs> 
Oh, there's the real princess. She was just out shopping, of course. What's this? Princess! There you are! Where in the world have you been? It's been over 30 minutes! It, it is. It has been over 30 minutes since we entered this place, so yeah. <laughs> were you at the store? <laughs> were you at the store all that time? What store? You silly Billy. This... I can't. People, hear me! Our princess has returned at long last! From the store! Thank you all. Truly, you have saved our people. Sorry about the mix-up. Believe me, this happens all the time. I have absolutely no trouble believing that, yeah. I shall return your garments. Um, don't bother. Actually, I, I'm kind of grown used to it. Uh, and give you this golden pickaxe in honor of your great deeds. Golden pickaxe? Uh, it's not a golden axe, but I'll take it. Ugh, leave us out of your adventures from now on. Wait. Excuse me. You're blaming me? Wait, this is the fun part where I get an item. Yay, the fun part. Sure. Okay. And you kicked me all the way out. I hope I can re-enter because there are certainly more things to get. Um, um, how does this work? <laughs> Golden pickaxe. This could really speed up desert demolition. Okay. I, um, obviously it's a key item that's gonna get used automatically, so... And they were going to, yeah, they were working on excavating this place, so... What's this? A golden pickaxe from the princess? Can I have it pretty please? Uh, sure. Such incredible craftsmanship. We'll have this cleared away lickety split. You better. And I better get an actually useful item for myself past this point. Wow, with those ruins out of the way, I can see all the way to the horizon. I mean, I can see all the way to the horizon. Just not in your 2D plane that you're inhabiting. Huh. And look at these chubby green birds. Those are not birds. Ah, uh, uh, those are birds! Monsters, run! Yeah, they're extremely frightening. I get it. Okay, cool. The way's cleared. Oh no. That's the worst. And suddenly they move like Medusa heads. Please give me that. Come. I'll just go ahead and ignore you as best I can, lady. Mm. These actually are Medusa heads, aren't they? I mean, they're just infinitely spawning, obviously. Okay, hey, I actually avoided her. Hmm, that's a destructible block, isn't it? I'll just need to find some kind of method to attack downward, which I don't currently have. Is there something underneath? Why can you even go? I guess that's to make it easier to return, perhaps? I don't know. Easy enough to actually just jump over them, so... Oh, wait. Um. Oh, okay, that works. That was a bit of a... Uh, leap of faith. Um, okay, can I actually only make the jump from here? Wait, that does not have... Oh, that's sneaky. This one doesn't have the the death skulls. I'll trust it, game. Okay. Interesting. Come on. Please get down to my level. Um, okay. There we go. Finally. Oh yeah, I, I absolutely have to return to the palace too to get that, um, to ca capture that dark magic from the cacklebat in the cage that I uh, already killed. Yeah, that's with me out here somehow. I'll take it. Okay. Mega explosion. Okay, are those infinitely spawning? Sure looks like it. Hmm. Well, there's something below, but again, either it's a way to return from, or I will have to find that stomping attack. What the heck is this? Can I even... Oh, wait. Can you jump back out of it? I mean, I certainly cannot make this jump, so... Oh, oh you absolutely can jump out of it. Sometimes even at full height. Um, God. Okay, that's... 
Mm-hmm. Cool. Just tank that damage, I guess. Could you... Eh, just ignore the mouse. Hmm, I could fall down there. In fact, I will have to. Okay. Fair enough. Something hiding here? Nope. Oh, last catacombs. La last? What? Lost catacombs. Yeah, okay. This is another place where I'll need to dig down. And this is obviously the next den of evil. Evil. Oh, okay. Wait, those are... I see. Now I understand how those work. If you don't flip those, they just have retractable spikes. Spikes? Spikes. Hmm, well, I can... Wait, was there... Was there not a way to the right from the from the entrance? Or was there? Okay, I just basically guessed the timing there. I'm surprised that worked. Oh, there totally is a way, yeah. And this map not dis not displaying doors is a real issue. Why why they don't include that is kinda of beyond me too. It doesn't really I mean all it make all it does is make the the map less useful. I don't know. I can only assume it's intentional because it couldn't have been hard to program th that in. Literally every Metroidvania ever does include that. Okay. Once again, I cannot actually go deeper than this. Okay, those are flippables. How long do they stay, stay flipped? Long enough. Oh, okay. Those must be temporary. Wait. Oh no! Okay, almost. Yeah, no, let's wait. Seems like they stay turned around for varying amounts of time. Ah, no, I missed it. What's past you? Probably nothing. Maybe some health? No, just money. Okay. Oh god, yep, that was not worth it. Maybe I should just do do that first. Yeah. That's the way to go for sure. Key? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Could I have reached a squid? I did see the squid, by the way. Oh wait. The ceiling is not actually a ceiling. I mean it is a ceiling. Oh god. Whatever. I'll wait. Actually, I'll even heal. Mm -hmm. Nice meat chocolate. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was waiting for them to turn around. And they already were. Okay. This seems like... I don't know. Can I make it from here? I don't think I can. So, yeah. I definitely need to find some kind of way to get higher up. So again, maybe double jump, maybe uh, maybe some sort of high jump. Um, we got zombie, whatever those are. Saw the skeletized version of them before. Ah, uh, yeah, well, that's okay. Hmm, can you not destroy those? Not really sure why I would. Oh. You know what? I can actually just bypass you like this. This seems to connect to the other place. The other stairwell here. Yep. Or not stairs really, but you know. Uh, there is actually a room to up into the right here. Okay. Thankfully the hat allows you to yeah, not get the timing perfectly and still, still do it. Hmm. Almost half an hour did find a save point. Just a tempting place to make a cut. Maybe I'll just take a quick look past this point just to see. Okay, this seems like an obvious secret passage. Huh? Oh, the map of this place. That'll help. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, good. So this is just 
one room that doesn't lead anywhere. So I think I'll deal with whatever this has to offer. And that's gonna be that. Why would I... Ow. I guess the idea is to flip that from below, then jump over. I flip that from here. Oh no, that doesn't work. What? Oh, I guess you could shoot it. You can probably shoot them, can't you? Yep, absolutely. No, nope. mm, interesting trajectory there. I don't know if the, the bullet was going diagonally or if it only looked that way. Okay, that works, of course. Um, this doesn't. Nope, nope, don't. Okay, those guys are so much easier to kill than the scorpion ladies, thankfully. Okay, so that's gonna lead to another key, maybe? Interesting that I'm finding all these keys, but no key doors yet. But it's probably a matter of... Don't... Of collecting a certain number and then maybe using them all in succession. Perhaps. Okay, nice. I mean, whatever I need them for, that was stupid. I was hoping to make it past. Didn't quite work out. Oh well. At least now I'm prepared. Maybe not for the worst, but for up to two locked doors. Hmm. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I mean, I could try to make it to the next save point. Ah, what the heck. I feel like playing a bit more, so... So I will. Easy as that. Right, that door, uh, that, that room to the right there, that vertical room, uh, is where I couldn't dig through the purples, purple squares, blocks. Ah, okay. Use one key and open that up. Interesting. Okay. So I had to basically reach the bottom of both of these, of these wells. Or specifically, I had to actually reach the. Uh, oh, hmm. Actually, hold on. Yeah, no, I probably probably do, right? I probably can't progress here until I. Yeah, okay. I need to open both of those. I see. Or do I actually? Wait, what? Oh, you stand here. Right. Yes. Both have to be activated. Gotcha. Got another one of those here. Oh. Come on, man. All the healing in the world. Let's eat a freaking lobster tail. Yeah, that was overkill. 16 hearts. Actually, no, that was exactly as much as I needed, right? Four times four quarter hearts. Okay. So not a waste, actually. Okay, good. And we need another key. Just to get that switch. Interesting. Get more zombie murlocs. I mean, what else could they be? What do you... How do you interpret these? <laughs> Fish that are walking around? It's basically murlocs, so... I don't know. Oh, and we actually have the next save point right here. Hmm. I mean, I'll use it, see if I can actually go past it. Actually, it looks like I can. Is that where we get the uh, this dungeons, this islands item? Oh, well, there it looks like it, yeah. Oh, the scimitar, of course. So how would this work? While in air, press the scimitar button to break through blocks. Okay. Um, scimitar button is... wait. Oh, that one. That, okay, so that just automatically goes down, I see. So the scimitar button, while you're standing, does this, and in the air it does this. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Not very scimitar -y, but... Oh. 
And it allows you to bounce? Yeah, you can control yourself a little bit. Interesting. Maybe that'll, that mechanic specifically will come and uh, play a role somehow. Like jumping from breakable block to breakable block across a chasm or something. Um, you know what? 35 minutes is okay. Um, I don't want to finish the entire dungeon here, so I guess I'll use this as a stopping point. And we'll finish it off next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.